Hi, I'm Connor, and this is me at the beginning of the video. And this is me in the middle of the video. And this is me at the end of the video. Oh my gosh. Okay, what? How did it do that? That one start, I threw it out. What? Well, we're gonna be cutting out some discs, specifically the middle of the disc. And that's about all I have to say on the matter. But I'm sure that as the video goes on, we'll have a lot more to talk about. But in the meantime, I missed the door handle. Take two. But in the meantime, let's go pick out some discs. It's so cool in here. So none of those were actually, those were not the right spots where these go. I just didn't want to carry the camera around the warehouse. You know what I mean? So I just put them all there and it, it, it doesn't matter. I decided to go with very overstable driver, the Conqueror. Got some dome. That dome's not going to be there very long though. Then we've got a straight to overstable because it's Halo Dynasty. We're going to wreck it. The one not infinite disc disc. I decided to go with the uh, Pathfinder, Eric Oakley Pathfinder. And that's because I want to make Eric mad. And then we got the Halo Alpaca. Straight to maybe a little bit of finish at the end. Distance driver, fairway, mid-range and putter. And I decided to go max weight with all of these because I think by the time that we're done messing around with them, they're gonna be more like 150 grams, most likely. Max weight was really the only way to go. Let's go to the field. We're gonna test these out at the field today. See how they fly when I throw them and they're not demolished. And then tomorrow's where the real fun starts. I don't always wear glasses, but when I do, you know I mean business. Start off with the putter. Oh, that's actually pretty stable. I didn't throw it super hard, but it's pretty stable. That was a terrible throw, but you know what? That means that when we cut it, it can only get better. Eric Oakley, Eric Oakley, Pathfinder. Oh wow, these are actually flying pretty good. Man, that went forever. I'm happy that they're they're flying a little bit more stable because I I think we're gonna need it when we cut these. The Hulk Dynasty, Hulk Smash. <laughs> Yeah, these are flying stable, it's great news. If you haven't thrown the Conqueror, these things are beefy, and I think that this is gonna be really good when it gets cut. You're gonna take off that dome, you're still gonna have the overstable rim. I think that they're honestly gonna bomb when I cut this one. Give it the beans. Ugh. Holy crap, that thing's overstable. That's all the information we need. They're all flying a little bit, stable to overstable but anyways let's move on to tomorrow i'll see you there sorry i keep pointing in your face comment nice things all right today is the day we made it into work so we're gonna be doing some filming in my office and last time we did it i talked about how it was boring and i was gonna make it into a studio one day take a look Still boring. Maybe one day. Here's my tools, all laid out like I'm a serial killer. A little extra something something there. And there's the victims. Bruh. Well, let's at least try to spruce this place up before we get started with a little artwork. Drew it myself. Yeah. Mmm. Now you can't tell me that this isn't the mood for what we're about to do. Tell me what you're thinking right now. How you feeling? A little sinister? A little scary? How about now? So I'm thinking we cut off as much of this disc as we can. So with my drivers, I'm going right up to the seam on my power grip. And with my putters in the mid-range, I do a little modified fan grip. So I'm gonna get as close to that as I possibly can. Let's get a cracking. Nice, nice, nice. What the heck is going on here? What is this circle? I just... <laughs> Oh, that looks great. Uh, oh. Does anybody need a new mini? I got you covered. All right, well, we got the first one down, and honestly, I think it went better than I expected. Look at that craftsmanship that I'm doing right there. But I'm thinking that we need to go and give it a test run. And I know the perfect person to do it because this kid who works at Infinite Disc, his name is Robbie. Robbie is so obsessed with disc golf. He's like the Eagle McMahon of, of Infinite Disc's warehouse. You blindfold that kid and he can tell you whatever disc it is. I say we go take this to him, let him give the first throw out, let him give the first throw out, 
let him throw the disc first, see what he thinks, and then we'll keep chopping up these discs. Robbie, you busy? <sighs> what? <laughs> I love this. Where am I throwing? All right, we got Robbie. Introduce yourself, Robbie. What's up? I'm Robbie. We're gonna give him the mic. We're gonna let him throw. He's like the biggest disc connoisseur. He loves discs. Put that on your shirt. It's a joke. You you can actually hear me. It's I got the mic. all right. You got the mic on. Okay, let's throw. First throw ever with the donut alpaca. Yeah, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to expect. All right, well that actually kind of worries me for what the other discs are gonna fly like, but <laughs> uh, that was pretty awesome. Do I have thoughts? It's great, it doesn't glide. One throw in and it's really dumb, but fun. So, um, Innova, I need a donut now, okay? Where's my donut disc? This is what I need. Is that even, a, is that approved? I, no, this is totally illegal. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Comment down below. Do you like Ravi? Should we get him in more videos? I think yes, but let's head back inside. Let's keep chopping it up like old friends. My jokes are getting worse and worse every day. Getting right back to it. Shoot. Disc number two, Eric Oakley Pathfinder. Eric, once again, I am sorry, but we gotta do it. Thought space, you make some good plastic because this thing is indestructible. Ugh. This number two down, look perfect out to my little fan grip. Doesn't this just feel like a crime against humanity, against disc golf humanity? Ooh. These ones are gonna be fun. <laughs> uh, let's compare holes. There we go. I think fairways and drivers are gonna fly quite a bit different than that mid-range and that putter. On to the last. These are going in the trash. Actually, you know what? I've got a great idea for them. Boom, look at me go now. All right, we got our Frisbees. Now there's really only one thing left to do. Let's go chuck these mofos. Really? If you could do this, if all discs were like this, I think it would be real nice to like store your discs better. Like just have a hole and like hang it up on. I'm gonna start out with the putter. We already know how that kind of flies. Then we're gonna go mid range. We're gonna go fairway. Those two I'm really nervous about, but the driver is the one that I'm most interested in because that disc is so overstable that I don't know what will happen when I throw it. Here we go. What I think is most important about what happened when I cut these is that you lost all of its glide. The wind's not gonna be able to get caught underneath the disc and keep it in the air, so it's just gonna drop. So every inch that I get out of this throw, I think is just gonna be all muscle, no glide. I'm, I'm not a scientist. I, I got my degree in not science. Holy halo alpaca. Oh my gosh. That went nowhere. It's rolling in the fairway right now. That disc is unusable officially. Pathfinder, this much hyzer. I don't even know. Oh, okay, that actually flew pretty good, but it's definitely going same thing. Cutting back into the fairway. This is probably the one that I'm most concerned about, honestly. I figured out that this is a lightweight disc. I thought it was max weight, but it turns out lightweight disc with a hole in it. Come on, Dynasty. I'm gonna start it over there. Just so much hyzer. Oh, whoa, that actually flew pretty good. Did you see it just drop? Okay, what? How did it do that? That one start, I threw it out. What? Oh my gosh. Am I overreacting or is that just the weirdest thing ever that the first two did that and then that one that what dropped out of the air i'm gonna muscle this one flat and see what happens conquer okay no glide i want to throw that one again let me go grab it so i just measured them and the furthest one was actually the pathfinder which came out to 231 feet let's throw these one more time i want to throw the alpaca first and i just want to throw it just to show you 
how much glide there isn't. Like I'm just gonna like kind of like baby as if it was like a 120 foot up shot. Just baby this one out there and it will still flip up a little bit and then just drop. Oh my, yeah, just drops. Pathfinder ripping on it one more time. Oh, wow, that one actually flew pretty good. Okay. Still extremely flippy. No. Oh. Okay, it went straight, drop. <laughs> oh. It's like if you took a driver and made it a bird farm. Like it flies like a bird, but even worse. Give it some height. Holy smokes. Okay, let's go pick those up. We'll talk about it. All right, here is the driver. 200, 220, 215 to 20 feet. Not very far, and I threw that absolutely as hard as I could. See, here's the other nice thing. If you wanna just pick it up and throw it to your other discs, it doesn't really work. So the Pathfinder, 243 feet. How about them apples? Let's give it a toss. Whoop. Oh, it actually flew. When I came up with this idea, I honestly thought that the disc would have flown different. I honestly didn't think that there would be that much of a change. Well, it's still the same shape and I still throw it hard, so I don't think it's gonna change too much. Uh, but now I'm so grateful that we have the middle of disc. But now I'm thinking that we need to play nine holes with this. Don't know where, comment down where you think I should play. If I should play at the fort, which would be so hard, or if I should play an easy course. But anyways, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. I'm gonna throw a hole 16 real quick and you can watch if you want. If we put one on, that would be, that'd be awesome. Oh, what? Oh, that was almost awesome. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. Oh. Oh my gosh, just dropped. Went nowhere. Oh, that's got a chance of going nowhere. That has a chance of going nowhere.